Yeah. She is. They said kosher. Oh, fielding? Yeah. <laughs> so it literally was unkosher. <laughs> it was literally unkosher. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she was prom queen, so I guess it worked out for her. No, not prom. I got queen. one a while back. What, what's the, um, let me tell the bowl, you, first, sweetheart. It was what's awesome. the Kegger homecoming queen? For having who, who was? Fielding. Fielding was the homecoming queen? Yeah. Nice. Good old Fielding. So, what are you guys up to this weekend? Anything fun happening in your uh, neck of the woods? Oh, do y'all want to see? Get the close up. Where's my phone? Okay. First of all, phone is on my, can you grab that for me, Scott? Do y'all want your weekly update from my other sister, Ariane, and her, uh, and her, um, her refuge oh. <laughs> story? Can you go over I'm going to show you what animals, so she works at a, an, a wild animal rescue and refuge. Uh, I'll show you. What she sent me today. Every Friday I get new pictures of the animals that she's taking care of. You got the close-up ready? That's the one she's working with today. How cute is he? Nice. Tiny little fox. He's a vicious, dirty and then, animal and he's going to eat somebody. And also, she also has, she's feeding these little baby squirrels. Hold on, let me. Close-up. Well, that's not close up. Look, how cute is he? He's like uh, a little three-week-old squirrel or something. Nice. Hey, Moritz Aww. is here. Hi, hey, Moritz. <laughs> All right, that's my weekly update for you from the Animal Refuge. <laughs> Mort, Mort finally decided to grace us with his presence, huh? That's because I emailed him, I guess. Hi, Moritz. He he said he was going to come to the new building. Did he say that? He Whatever. Can help us move. He's not gonna come here. <laughs> something like that. Oh, something like that. In your brain, in your dream. Talk to me, John. Testing one, two, three. I'm John P. And you're not. And you are not. Keep talking. I am talking because I'm being told to talk, but I'm also simultaneously going to have some verve. Because it's what I do. Talking one, two. Mort says, how are things? I was checking on the drop cam. Callie should help you next time. What? Callie should help me carrying those boxes. What? Right. Carrying what boxes? Why should I help? Yeah. Yes, Paul, there was a fox and a squirrel. Is that a I joke or something? A <laughs> Digital Phil wants me to teach you how to nail every segment. But if I did that... Digital Phil, I... First of all, it's impossible, yeah, okay? Exactly. But, but if I did that, then we'd have two people who did it, and no one can take that. Yeah, Come that on. would just be too much. What the heck was that noise? That's people... Scraping. That's everybody who knows that if they tweet me, they set off my watch. They're yeah. going to be doing it all show, I'm, I'm assuming, that if you see His the tweet... His watch was on the... My watch was touching the, uh, the tabletop. Uh, what did you eat at Fuzzy's? Right. <laughs> <laughs> What does the fox say? Yes, that's what exactly what Scott said. <laughs> who let the fox Wait, out? Hand me, hand who, me one who? of those, please. Bacon? Yes. It started early, huh? Right. Ah, that was loud. What's a better way to say this that's funnier? The first one. <laughs> Um, Don't or cry. more interesting. Okay, cry. <laughs> By the way, um, and the tweets are coming in. Ben wants me to turn my watch off. <laughs> you got anything better for me? Uh, we all know I'm not funny, so well, you're funny looking. Well, okay. but I, at least I didn't say it. Right. <laughs> Um, so I think we're going to need more time on Chit Chat. You can't say anything funnier than that in just short period of time. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. This is live 127, kids. Yeah, 127, got it. Chit Chat is going to go way, way long today. Yeah. 
And so we have more boxes. We than can we, did we can before. figure out what cut what stories to cut uh, later as as we need. Well, there's a lot of white one segment. Yeah. One segment. And we'll need some. We'll we will need some little close ups whenever we're doing our chit chat. Yeah, we have, definitely. We'll have props. Awesome. You know, you mean, unlike Pablo, sorry, he's not going to be I'm standing, just, sitting, if you, working. If you have to listen to us, I am sorry now, in advance. <laughs> you to be texting your girlfriend, right? No. Okay, good. Right. Can you fit more verve on the set? Absolutely. Oh, good. I can. I mean, that's a silly question. I can, and I will. John's audio is way louder than Callie. That's because he talks louder than me. It's because Dave doesn't have me adjusted right. Probably because I got louder since he did adjust me. <laughs> check into TV tag, Chris Phil Philby is reminding everyone. Yep. Go check check into TV in. tag. Oh, crap. You what? can you can What you what you doing? Did you break the Are you breaking the internet? No, everything's different. <laughs> Whoa, cool. <laughs> Well, it's like it's like a uh, hazy. This is this is like a memory scene right, right. here. This all got redone. So like my fade for the um, Uh-oh, the fades are all messed oh, those up. Are cold. Space Bats loves your t-shirt. Thank you. How many buildings do I own? Digital Phil said. Really, how many buildings don't I own? Oh, that's good. Well, yeah. yeah ask him, uh, do we, what number, does he have an actual number? Do we have any actual numbers? <sighs> Phil, what do you want me to write a book on? Because the last time I wrote a book, it turned into something that, you know, billions of people became religiously, you know, uh, attached to, and... I don't know. I don't know if I can just take that anymore. You mean the Bible? Well, uh -huh. you said it, not me. I didn't call it that. <laughs> I didn't call it that. Just other people started doing that. And yeah, I you know. should write up a. You should. You should do a tutorial series on how to pick up chicks. Then I wrote another book, you know, and I used the pen name L. Ron Hubbard because I thought that if I did that, <laughs> that no, it wouldn't really. People would just evaluate it for what? A, bang! It started a right. whole another religion. Right. I'm cold. <sighs> I'm thinking about going to put a t-shirt on under the, the shirt. I mean, a long sleeve shirt underneath the shirt. Uh, it's 71 degrees. I'm cold. Do some push-ups. <laughs> Do some push-ups. I need you'll get, to. You'll get warm. I'm getting Callie, all, is that the... I'm getting all flabby. I need a workout. Is that the Incipio case? Huh? Are yes. you asking no, on... No, the Sadio. Yeah, that's... Oh, a, which one? You're asking about her Note 3, right? That's the Sadio kickstand case. Yeah, look at this. Look at that. Kickstand. You can stand it on the table. There Not you go. Not that you can see it. Like that. But it stands. It's okay. He's not paying any attention to Sheila us. Sheila says, <laughs> Sheila Friend says, everything is better with bacon. Even Callie. There's Jendi. Nice. Hey, Jendi. Hey, Jendi. Thank you very much. Congrats on 800 shows and a new building. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Gregory is asking, is bacon during a live stream a regular thing? I'm not complaining. It seems kind of unusual. Where is that one? <laughs> Over on the YouTube side. Oh. <laughs> no, not, not completely yeah, like, normal. Tube maker said, I never realized John was that old. I know I don't really look it, do I? <laughs> the Brad says, long sleeves under short sleeves are not cool. What? I would do it all the time. Are, are you we telling planning, me I'm not cool? Are we planning to sell Geek Beat T poos? I think that's t shirts t maybe <laughs> overseas. <laughs> yes, we did. We, we actually we, did sell to people all over the world, but they're now not. They're not, not for on sale, sale yet. We, uh, will the new building have a full kitchen? Absolutely, it will have a full kitchen. Uh, by the way, I guess I can say this out loud. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, Monday we have to go over and. To like physically see the shirts, she wants us to make sure that we're hey, happy. Oh, to see the shirts? Okay, we can do that. Drop cams or whatever we need to do. To I killed all but Aussie. That Aussie. One. Aussie said it's 104 degrees there today. Hey, Nick. That is warm. Can you that 104 degrees where? In, oh, Australia. in Australia. Got it. 
Why is the bacon not on a hot plate? That is a very good that question. That is a good question. Was the new building the hardest thing I have ever done? Uh, <laughs> He's I, done a lot of hard things. I mean, I've done things that are pretty hard. I wouldn't consider the hard build the, the new building to be that hard. But the new building was it it was it it's hard not boot camp? Yeah, harder than boot camp. It's not done yet, but I will tell you it was it was not what I would consider hard so much as I would consider complex. Right. There are many, many moving pieces and there are very large dollar tags attached to every Phil. one of these pieces. So it's enough to make some people a bit nervous, that's for sure. Phil Mickinson is here. Hey, Philly Phil! Hey. And yes, are we you... will have a bowling alley for you. Yes. And maybe even invite whoever that band was that you said you really like and I have no All idea of them. who. Uh, we'll invite them to uh, do the lunch party. Will Callie use the stripper it's pole? <laughs> There's not going to be a stripper pole. There is going to be a stripper pole. The, bikini, <laughs> the, the bikini team is going to practice on the stripper, oh, stripper pole. Oh, right, of course. Will the new building be CJ proof? I'm not sure that any building could be CJ proofed. That's true. He is a. You underestimate his sneakiness. Drop cam three is still on, John says. Oh. It's 100 degrees cooler than Australia here, Oops. where Ben is. Do you want to... I guess I didn't kill drop three. Lee is correct. The weather in Dallas to. is nice. It's not too ah. hot, not too cold. What did you just do? I have like a little hangnail tomorrow. or something. I just... Oh, yeah, it's ow. Drop and then it's gonna be like rain no, cold. it's supposed to get hot tomorrow. T-O-S T today. Yeah, 75. Hey, how would we say that? T-O-S today. Toast today. Go Toss, Cowboys! Toss today. Yeehaw! <laughs> Late Sunday, or like Sunday, Monday. When right. will we be seeing the new building? As soon Tech Salazar. Well, you already saw it. We got the keys. Well, but, you saw um, the outside. You saw the outside of it. As soon as we get the keys, so we're supposed to go to closing um, next Friday, which and, and hopefully we could still do the show. Um, get the riffraff out. Yeah. Right, as of right now, here's where it, well, We'll we'll hold we'll hold off. We'll explain that when yeah, we we'll get on the thing. That, okay? Yeah, we'll explain that. Yeah. But but I would say um, I would say pro if, and I am not promising this, but if all were to go perfectly according to plan, we might be able to make a video at the new building on Monday. Yeah. Maybe we Monday's show might be the not first this, look inside. Not this coming Monday. The following Monday. Yeah, because we don't go to closing until the next Friday. So the following Monday. You know, in like literally the first show after we get the keys, we could do a walkthrough of the building, but um, it's still yeah. not done yet. So, Geek Beat How Rocks, thank you very Thanks, much, T. Flynn. Flynn. Are we ready to do this yet? I believe we are. All right, Michael let's do wants it to then. know if the new building has ever had busted water pipes. <laughs> 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 no, yeah, it has its but. <laughs> To our knowledge, the new building water pipes are okay, but we don't know for sure. <sighs> yes, hopefully they don't push the closing back again. Yeah. But we'll talk about that here in a minute. I We actually have an update. We got literally right while we're sitting here on set, so we can um, we can uh, give you the update. Let me see if he responded. Don't, don't forget, we need to do a tune-up. Yep, yep. Yep, we'll do that. We will do that for sure. Okay, that's good. All right, are you guys ready? Why I, is it that Digital I'm Phil done wants done the new building people? toilets to be named after Digital Phil? No, I'm going to analog fill them. <laughs> Wait, what? What are we doing? Digital Phil wants the new toilets to be named after him. And Dave said he's going to analog fill I, I'm, the toilets. I'm sorry, I'm, you're probably going to hate me for saying this, but I'm not, never mind. You're not going to dump in the fill? <laughs> no. I was going to say sit, but... Yeah. <laughs> is Fro... Fro knows. Is that Jared? Jared, are you in the chat room? Hey, What's happening? Jared's slumming it. <laughs> hey, John and my future ex-girlfriend. <laughs> That's Jared. That's definitely hey, Jared. Jared. Hey, Jared, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> the, the future ex Mrs. Fro. <laughs> no, he wouldn't go too far, as, so far as to marry anyone, Ooh. right? Yeah, yeah. But you would 
<laughs> Why buy when you can just rent? <laughs> you know? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get this show yes. started. She is. That to be my. Oh, he stopped in for a minute before a Tinder date. What's a, What's Tinder, a Tinder date? date? It's, it's going it's to go to Kane's. It's a phone app. Oh, a, a where phone? You, it's like where you find dates. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Oh, okay. Nice. I'm going to have to try that. Yeah. Maybe I can get a date. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure Holly would like that, but. <laughs> probably not. Actually, probably she would. She'd be like, would, can we get rid of this guy? <laughs> Can you go do a Tinder date or something? Just leave me alone. <laughs> All right. Bye, Fro. <laughs> Bye, Fro. See ya. <laughs> right, here we go. And in three, two. Hey, guys, I'm John P. And I'm Callie Lewis. Today on Geek Beat Live Viruses that travel over Wi Fi, Bitcoin's big flop, coffee and bacon and bacon, bacon, <laughs> the world's fastest car, <laughs> and. Oh my god, I am so excited! It all starts now! Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Geek Beat TV. I guess Callie is just doing <laughs> jumping jacks. To Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! What have we done? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, that was. We'll have to do that one again. Best, <laughs> J Mr. Jig, wow, best intro ever. <laughs> Vodka? Yeah. No, wouldn't Vodka make me the other, wouldn't it make me uh That was weird. That was what? weird. Somebody screwed could something we, up. Could we even do that again if we tried, Dave? I don't think so. It was yeah. 70s vision. <laughs> I thought somebody put something in my drink, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, know. man. Is this show in 3D? Yeah, yeah, Tech Freak. That would be awesome. Very early Doctor Who. Yeah. <laughs> Very early 80s. Okay. We are not going to run the intro. GB Mushroom we're Edition. Push, okay. We'll go from there, okay? So did, did, could we even do that again if we wanted to? Yeah, that's good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sweet. I didn't know. That was pretty cool. <laughs> All right. Did we get some new interns or something? <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the junior intern. Yay for! Oh, that's right. Pablo came to me the other day. He was like, "Can I have an upgrade in title?" To senior <laughs> to intern. To senior intern or yes, something. Yes, he can have one. I told him he has to come in at least once or twice a week for a, for a while before he gets. The yeah, time otherwise to do you don't that. get the upgrade. You don't get to like not show. Being senior intern here doesn't mean you don't have to show up. Right. Greg said, "Greg said, yay for jumpy happy time." Yeah. It's coming again. All right, ready? I have to redo my brilliance. Uh, Here we go. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna pick it up from the push, so I'm going to count, count him, uh, him down. I'm going to count down, and uh, on one, you do it, okay? Okay. Three, two. Hey, guys. Welcome back to another edition of Geek Beat. <laughs> I'm so uh, I guess it's, it's our special jumping jack edition, perhaps. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, no, I'm very excited. Well, well, are you excited because you got bacon in front of you? Well, that too. That actually adds to my excitement. But I'll we have tell more you things, by the way, in our little chit chat time than we could ever get get yes. away with talking about here. But we'll We're, see how far Ken lets us go. I'll tell you why I'm so excited here in a bit. But we have to do some uh, background information first. Okay. But first, before we get into all that, look what came in the mail today: bacon, bacon, turkey, God bacon, shawls, maple, smoked. Bacon. I have more than you do. This is turkey bacon, so it's healthier. I've never actually had turkey bacon I before. I can't believe you've never had turkey bacon. What I look. Turkey? Did they cut? To I that? don't <laughs> be all you know uh, technical on me. I don't know, um, Dave. I I I love turkey bacon. Yeah? We have actually two different kinds, yeah. by the what? way. Yeah, what kinds? We have wood smoked, and we have maple. I, I personally oh. I go for maple because Ooh, it's yeah, like the maple uh, adds sweeter. A little bit of a sweetness. But look, yeah. here's the big deal: ninety-four percent fat-free. 
If you've never had turkey bacon, okay, first of all, here's what I don't want you to do. Bacon is delicious. We all know that. What I don't want you to do is I don't want you to go go to the store, get you some God Shawls or whatever brand that you happen to have locally, and then be eat it and be like, this isn't bacon. No, it's not normal bacon. It's turkey bacon, and so it's going to taste a little different. Sure, like turkey dogs do. Yes, like turkey hot dogs do. That's yes. what I mean. <laughs> but here's the nice thing about this stuff. When you cook it all up, um, it, it doesn't like completely shrink away and like fill your bowl with fat, your little frying pan yeah. with fat. This is, is this. Sizzling? It, no, it's not sizzling, but it's like uh, it's like little thin bacony flavored meat strips without all the fat. I don't like fatty bacon. Yeah, this is like a hundred percent. Bacon with no fat bacon. Well, it's seen, delicious. Seeing as we're about to start a new, uh, you know, uh, fitness program, which we have not really talked to you about, but yeah. this will go well with that because I can still have my bacon and still be healthy, right? Yeah, I just like to mention that because I saw on the way back from lunch a tweet come out from Callie saying, "Yay, John P and I are about to start a torture." Training. training session and I said what yes I didn't know about this I signed you up for it John well I found a local um, bodybuilder and uh, and you just said will you torture John P pretty much can we film for it? fun yes and you're gonna film it yes John, but I'm gonna do it with you you're gonna be a roid head <laughs> no. What's wrong? What's wrong with me now? You're just fine the way you are. Don't change, John, but John, do. That little pea shooter of yours. Yeah, I got guns. <laughs> I got guns. Look at that. That's a gun right there. Okay, come on. Don't give me no. Don't give me no flack. That's not bad. Flex. John. Yeah, I'm no Jared. Flex. Oh. That's a rubber band guns. I'm no Jared Poland. Okay. <laughs> Have you guys seen Fro from Fro Knows Photo? The boy is huge. Yeah, I picked him up one time. The guy weighs like 3,000 pounds. He's solid steel. Anywho, well, anyway, now we're going to go get guys, all worked out. You guys puff. join us next Wednesday. We're going to have two bodybuilders, like real life bodybuilders, here in studio uh, at geekbeat.tv slash live. We're going to do a live stream. We're going to talk about exactly what we're going to do going to me. forward. To you, yes. Nice. And to me. And to you too. Okay, all right. Uh, by the way, uh, I'm, I'm going to put the bacon. Oh, actually, Nick, can you take the bacon and stick it in the fridge? Thank you. Yeah, Everybody say hi to Nick. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have an update for you. Yes. We are about to send out. Of course, I sent Nick off when right when it was time to like use oh, a, the, right. the close up. Nick, cam. get back in here. But uh, sorry, I had to have a, a sip of my Verve. Well, hey, I um, had some earlier by the too. Way, I don't think I'm going to yawn today. By the way, I have some Verve here on the table. And, Here's the and deal. And one party. Here's the and one part one parte and 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 a bunch of bold, bold. Here's the deal. Every time you yawn, you have to drink a can <laughs> of bold. That's the deal. <laughs> Don't go drinking it. Otherwise, one can. I got plenty of cans. Okay. You can yawn all you want, but okay. you're gonna drink a whole can. Now that we're talking like about yawning, I'm gonna yawn. <laughs> anyway, for those of you who are our patrons, a. Thank you. We, we love, love you. you. Okay, B. At the $5 per month patron level, one of the benefits that you get is you get your official geek badge. Yes. It's a geek card that you can put in your wallet. Well, guess what? You see this? This is a big old stack. This is just like the very first ones we got ready yeah. last night. I'm literally dropping them in the mail on the way after we Don't finish Don't show the addresses, John. And yeah, I won't do that. Here's, <laughs> here's what you're going to be getting if you're a patron. Um, you get a nice little letter from us, yeah. but see right down here? How cool is this? That's, That's the geek, geek badge. This is Ben's. Yeah, Ben, this is on your way. It looks just on like him. <laughs> yeah, that's Ben's. And uh, Ben will be getting this letter, so will all the rest of you, everybody at the $5 level and above. But the reason I'm telling you this right now and showing you this because there's one little catch. Uh-oh, a catch? There's a catch. Well, they already... Um... This stack, and we have a few more, but this stack is for the people... Only for the people at the $5 level, because at the $15 and $25 level and above, you get some other things right. like stickers and t-shirts, and we're those are still on, those on their way in. To come in, yeah. So we're putting everything in a bag, in a box or bag or whatever to ship to you guys. So actually, this is, the, this is one time 
when being a five dollar level person <laughs> actually gets it to you faster than being a higher dollar level <laughs> contributor. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but they. But we love you all. Uh, you know, we're working on it. So and they're coming. They're you coming. You guys can see. Start to get those in the mail. Yeah. And so. uh, tweet us when you when you do get it. What else do we have? Well, oh my big, God. Big news. The big news. This is like the big thing. When did we we learn? We saw this what thirty minutes ago? Thirty. Well, 40, we haven't even told this audience yet about the. I, about the building. Oh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. So, you tell them. <laughs> we have two things of big news. So, okay, on Monday, I think we announced, or on Tuesday? Mon on episode number 800. Tuesday, we announced that we are buying a building to move into. We you heard are, that right. Yes. So we're, not, we're not moving. We bought the building. <laughs> so we are moving all of our production facilities in there over the course of the next, you know, few months because the building itself, we have a lot of renovation to go through. Um, we are going, I mean, the great thing about buying a building is we can make it our own. We can make it awesome. And uh, as you said on the live stream on, on Wednesday or Tuesday, um, it's going to be the Geeks Disneyland. Yes, so that's, it is. It's, it's going to be really, really cool. We have so much more to show you and update you on as we move forward in this process. And check the show notes because uh, you'll see, you can see uh, episode 800. And also we did a whole hour long live Q&A session about it. Yes. So that will get you started. Yes. And then we'll, we'll bring even more to you. But here's what I freaked out about. I know. We just found out about this. Like half an hour before we came live, we got... This special video, watch this. Hey John and Callie, it's Cameron from Updesk. First off, congratulations on your 800th show and your brand new building. I can't imagine how excited you guys are. Heck, I'm excited for you. We've been big fans of the show since day one and we figured with a new building, you're gonna need some desks, right? So since we love the direction that you guys are going, we're happy to announce that we'll be outfitting your entire office with brand new Updesks for all of your employees. If that wasn't enough, we actually have one more thing up our sleeves that we cannot wait to share with you, but that will be a little bit later. So in the meantime, good luck with your move and talk to you soon. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. For those of you who don't know, Updesk is uh, the standing desk, the sit-stand desk, so it goes, it's motorized, motorized the whole goes nine up and yards. down, you can stand or sit. That is what got me jumping. <laughs> Unbelievable. They are going to outfit the whole studio with Updesks. Thank you, Updesk. You guys we, we, are incredible. Yes, thank you so much. We told you guys this studio is going to be like the biggest, almost <laughs> awesomest thing ever. It's just going to get more and more awesome. Yes. So that is so awesome. We can't wait. We'll, ha we'll, we'll have to call, call the Updesk guys and chat about it, and we'll, we'll keep you guys informed of what's going on with that. But if, you, if, you haven't, if you're not familiar with it, check the show notes. What are the show notes today, Dave? Gapy.tv slash live 137. 127. 127. 127. I can't 127. read. I, need, I don't know. Hey, Ben, in the show notes, put it, put in some of our uh, up de you know, up desk review information and stuff so people can learn about it because it's just, I have no oh. words. And that's a good time to have no words because we're way past commercial break time. <laughs> so we'll be right back in just a minute. And we have even more cool stuff to share with you. Good God. <laughs> Somebody. We're back. That's, That's going to become an animated gift. Great. Great. No one do that. No one needs to see oh. that. Can that be an unpaid that, yeah. intern? <laughs> Isn't that crazy, guys? How awesome are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Tech Salazar wants to know uh, if you can buy a badge. Um, we don't sell the badges outside of the patron um, s system, so so it's only for patrons who uh, who. Um, no, you're us. answering this incorrectly. What? It's only like sixty dollars a year yeah. to lease one from us. Yes, you can buy right. one. <laughs> it's for $5 only five dollars a month. You can buy one. I mean, <laughs> no, seriously. I mean, uh, so what we did was. When on the Patreon thing, we tried to come up with different little awards, you know, rewards for, for contributions at different levels. So if you sign up for the $5 per month level, which, you know, if you do the math, is $60 on an annual basis, 
Uh, Quit leaving your crap all over the floor. <laughs> it's just like, uh, you know, PBS or something where you're helping to support the show and, and it goes towards all of the expenses we have. But at that level, the $5 per month level, we, we take your information and we make you your own little card. So we, we actually bought a $1,500 yeah. professional badge printer. badge printer card. Printer thingy. thingy. Printer. Printer thing. It's a printer. And uh, so we print. Everybody Wait. gets their own printed with their name on it. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. did we? Let's show the. See if you can zoom in. How how yeah, close yeah. can we get on that? This is Ben's. Hang on, just a second. I'm doing something. Oh, Dave's doing something. Fine. We have to wait for Dave. Yeah, M Fury. Now get a sponsorship for 4K displays in the background and desks. This that would so be. Yeah, we didn't even mention fuzzies. It's just sitting here. We went to Fuzzy's today. Oh, yeah. And uh, Fuzzy's Lee, is right across the street from the new yeah. building, yeah, basically. Yeah, Lee asked where it was. It's it's uh, about a mile and a half from where we are now, and it's right across the street from Fuzzy. So we, we did our inaugural... Huh? It's a chain. He may have one. Oh, yeah, but they're only here no, local. Lee is here local. Oh, he is local. Okay. I can believe you, so. Are you done with what you're doing? I think, Lee, aren't you here in Dallas? Zoom in on that bat. Look at that. There's Ben's card right there. So, uh, nice. and, and it's, it's, it's kind of attached on the page here, but you can see it's how are we, how are we a double-sided it? tape. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice and professional looking, isn't it, on the whole thing here. Um, but, yeah, that's it. It's a, it's a hard plastic card. Uh, okay. And, uh, <laughs> you can put it in your wallet, and you can show it off. And I hope, here's what I'm hoping happens. I cannot wait till this happens. What? You know, we do meetups and we travel around and we do all that yeah. stuff. I can't wait until all the t-shirts and all those things. Um, so so when the first time somebody shows up to a meetup or something and they whip out their badge, I'm going to freak out. <laughs> I'm going to freak we'll out. In. We'll have an exclusive VIP meetup. That would be cool. That would be cool. The Brad had three mm. birds today. Oh, sweet. Nice. Usually that's what we have. Yeah, but I surprised the heck out of you, you didn't did. I? You did. I, I was like, what? Scott, we went to lunch with Scott, and she was like, okay, where are we going? Free birds. I said, fuzzies. She was like, what? <laughs> and Scott had... Let me put these over here. He doesn't like fish, so he had uh, beef tacos instead. Baja. I feel like when you go to fuzzies, you need to have Baja tacos. But that's okay if you don't eat fish. I guess you got to eat something else. Yeah. yeah, but I think, Scott, one time... You just need to try those fish tacos because I know people who don't f care it's got for all sorts of other stuff in it. You don't really taste the fish. Well, the thing is, <laughs> you know, most of the time just when joking. people don't like fish, it's because often fish has a fishy taste. It's like a strong fish aftertaste. Right. These do not. There's no. There's absolutely zero fishiness yeah. to it. it. But it is healthy and light and fluffy and good and delicious. Oh, I forgot to. And all that. So, anywho. All right, let's come back. Right. I know we're really <sighs> late. It's already 3.45. Good God. I apologize, people. <laughs> I apologize for the fact that you're even having to watch this show. Well, I am going to try. Are you spent? Oh, yeah, because I've been jumping up and down all the whole commercial break. Good I'm going to try and focus on any, on something else yeah, other than up desk. Other than our brand new building, <laughs> our up desk, our patrons. Uh, we do have unboxings later coming on. Yes. We got a whole pile of unboxings. And stuff I promise you, back here, I don't know, all lots up in and this, lots all up in this area. Coffee. All up in there. Look, coffee. A it's a coffee unboxing. I, you can unbox your coffee. I've got all the uh, verve I need. I don't drink coffee. I drink verve. Okay. It's better for me. There's healthy stuff in it, and it's not disgusting like coffee. <laughs> that is a matter of opinion, John. But it's time for news, so yes. we'll ignore all of that because if you have invested in bitcoins, oh. you're broke. Well... So Mt. Gox, that just sounds wrong. It, they should have gone out of business just because, of, never mind. Um, I want, Mount this Gox. is a family show, but I want to rename Mt. Gox. I'm just going to stop right there. You their logo? I, I'm just going to stop. Okay. They're the largest and kind of they most were? well known were um, a trader for Bitcoins. They're like a bank for Bitcoin. They're like, a, They're like Bitcoin Bank. Yeah. 
an exchange, if you will. Um, and so earlier this week, they announced that they had a breach and lost $477 million worth of Bitcoins. What? Half a billion dollars worth of Bitcoins. I guess they were just basically deleted or stolen or... I don't, I don't really know exactly how. Here's the thing, people. If you're going to invest in the currency that is of not criminals, real. <laughs> then you should probably expect to have crimes perpetrated against you. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. And so... Uh, you now, know, this happened uh, by, by like the way, several just, years ago. Just to put this in perspective, that equates to about 6% of all the Bitcoins out there. Yeah. Like 6%. Got hacked away, okay? Right. I mean, this Jeez. is not good. But it happened several years ago, uh, another breach in the security, uh, but they refunded people all of the coin, all of the money at that time. Because it was only like $9 million yeah, worth. only $9 million worth. But they couldn't do it with $477 million. So yeah. recently, or the, the last couple of days, they announced that they have gone bankrupt and they are just no shutting joke. down. No joke. G. It's a, it's a good thing that one guy cashed out and built his apartment. Right. You know? I wonder how. Uh, I wonder how they go bankrupt when it's all based on a when fictional it's all fake. currency. I mean, what, who do you? Pay, how do you pay your fictional attorney or what? Anyway, let's move on to the next story of the day. Comcast yes. strikes a deal with Netflix. <gasps> No, it was not a bad deal. It's extortion. Now, I know you guys are used to me, like, ra you know, ragging on all the, uh, the internet service providers. That's not what's going on here. You don't have to worry, okay? Here's well, there has been a lot of controversy over this, though. There has, because people don't understand basic internet arch architecture. So let me explain it to you so people. So let Papa John give you a little story. Right. Let me tell you a story. There once was a backbone internet. There was another backbone internet. And the two had to be connected so there wouldn't be two internets, there'd be one internet. So guess what they did? They got little connections together. And in fact, there were more than one or two, there were a hundred of them. And so what they did was they built these buildings called IXCs, or internet, internet exchanges, where they would peer together and connect up and share their bandwidth back and forth. Because they're all big, big backbone providers and they need to put traffic on one another's network so they don't charge each other for it. Then, customers came along and some of them got really big, like Netflix. Yes. And they said, hey, we have lots and lots of traffic and we've been buying all of our bandwidth from commercial internet providers, but since we have so much traffic and your customers want to get to our stuff and our stuff wants to get to your customers, how about if we just peer together the way all the backbone providers do? And somebody said, that's not a bad idea. And that somebody was Comcast and they got together and that's the end of the story. Amen. All right. So put that to rest and moving on. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, glass, Google Glass. Yes. Uh, also has a lot of controversy around it. Recently, a woman got arrested and... Google had to come Google out and put... They, they published a set of rules about how not to be a glass hole. Right. <laughs> right, exactly. Anyway, so there are eight states currently looking at regulating Google Glass while driving. So basically saying you cannot wear Google Glass, like you can't talk on the phone while you're driving. Um, Can you have a heads-up display? Because, window? right, <laughs> because they think you'll get distracted you by your text and email. But that's different, okay? <laughs> I actually agree with this, believe it or not. I, 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 yeah, I'm a glass hole. <laughs> I, I know that that's hard to believe because I am not a fan mm -hmm. of regulation, but on occasion, there's good regulation. And in this case, to be driving around with a heads-up display on your glasses where, I don't know, maybe you're watching a video or something, okay? People watch videos already in the car. E Scott. You have to break Dave. the law to do it, okay? <laughs> there is a law against it, okay? So that makes sense to have a law that extends to this other device. If you're not allowed to, you know, have your DVDs playing in the dash, then why should you be allowed to have it in your eyeball? You shouldn't. It's one thing to have a heads-up display in the car that's giving you functions for the car associated with driving. You see your speed, you see your RPMs, you see that stuff, and in fact, you have to see those things, and you would otherwise be looking down, and instead you can look into the windshield to see it. But to have all kinds of other peripheral stuff that you may be paying attention to, I'll tell you what, I don't care. 
If you want to go run over some kids in the school zone, <laughs> do it. I don't have any, and I don't care about those kids. Oh, but John. Some of you care, and since some of you would get pissed off at others of you for running over each other's little rugrats, maybe we should all agree to have a rule that says we won't do that. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Well, a lot of uh, Google is obviously trying to uh, not let that happen and lobbying everybody. Um, uh, of course, in they're the trying to lobby that. And they have enough money, they undone. may be able to stop it, but they, I don't think they they're might. going to. I don't think so. Well, uh, on the other side of the coin, Steve Jobs is going to get his very own stamp. On the other side of the stamp? On the other side of the stamp. <laughs> so, Steve Jobs is actually going to be memorialized on the USPS stamps in 2015. So, you'll be able to buy. His face. Yep, yeah, a panel of citizens got together and voted, and they voted to have Johnny Carson, Elvis, James Brown, good God, and of course, who, who and are of course, all those people? And Steve Jobs. I don't because I don't know. you know Johnny Carson, James Brown, and Elvis. All and I, Steve Jobs? All I know is anyway, is Steve Jobs. So I, I think know. the panel was probably from. Silicon Valley in uh, California, because I don't know. But anyway, we love you, Steve, and you'll be on a stamp. We'll all lick your backside very soon, even though you're dead. All right, we'll you be guys, right back. wait, wait. You oh, have to okay. go leave a fame spot. So I guess the fame spot question of the day is, who else would you like to see? Who else's face would you like to see on a stamp? Yeah, go to geekby.tv forward slash fame spot and tell us if you'd like to see John P's face on a stamp, maybe Callie's face on a stamp. Who, whose face on a stamp? <laughs> yeah, I got punched. <laughs> shocker? No, Shocker is a person. I know that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <sighs> I thought you had to be dead to be on a stamp. Now, Brant, st Brant, Brant said, but Netflix should not have to pay for that. The ISP should because we pay them for internet connections. Yeah, the the 52 Sully said, what about the Comcast Time Warner merger? Not good for anyone. I agree. Yeah, we already ranted about that. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> <sighs> All right. All right, let's, let's keep this back. going. Uh, do we need to do a check-in or anything? Not right now. Maybe later, yeah. That would be fun. Asking him. What? Because he's sitting closer to me. Right. Two. Welcome back to the show, folks. I'm John P. And I'm Callie Lewis. Did you like how I said I'm, I'm John P that time? I wasn't listening to you. Okay. Well, anyway, it's gadget time, so... Your That's, favorite thing. That is one of my favorite times of the day. I mean, I think planes, trains, and automobiles is maybe my favorite, but this is my second favorite. Well, but you're also favorite Oh, thing. my favorite thing. Photography. I was trying to get you to go there. You did, we didn't mesh were, on that one. I thought you we? were commenting on gadget time being my favorite time. No, I was trying to lead you into the story, John. I dropped the ball, people. <laughs> it's not the first time. Segway smells as bad as It's, it's not the first time. It won't be the last. But... <gasps> What is also not the first time is Nikon coming out with a brand new camera. And this time, it's in the form of the D4S. This is their big daddy professional Woo! level uh, smoking hot camera. It is the one that competes with Canon's top of the line 1DX, yeah. okay? So the cool things about this one, first of all, it has, it'll shoot 11 frames per second. Nice. That is fast, people. What does the Canon do? Uh, the Canon does 10. Oh. That's one more. This one goes to 11. <laughs> now, it also will shoot full 1080p video at 60 frames per second. Now, why would you need 60 frames per second when typically you only watch 30 frames per second or maybe 24 frames per second? Because if you shoot in 60 frames per second, you can capture faster action video. What this does not do, however, is shoot 4K video, which uh, yeah, yeah. the top of the line Canon does. So that's kind of not good. But this also costs a lot less, so that's kind of good. 
Um, this thing does offer raw support with 12-bit images and has a 16.2 megapixel sensor. Gigantic pixels on the giant sensor make it super, super light sensitive. This one is capable of running in an extended ISO range of 408,600. And for those of you who don't know what that means, ah, who cares? It takes really damn good pictures, people. <laughs> and all of that for the low, low price of... $6,500. That's right. A relative bargain. Well, we don't know how much the Boeing Black Phone is going to be. Because it's super secret spy phone? Super secret spy phone from Boeing, the people who make the planes. Do we even have a picture of it? Yes, we do have a oh, picture okay. of it. They have released that oh, at least. Oh, I see. How do this... we know that's a picture of the real one? Well, you're and right, not we a don't. a fake picture to throw us off. Hey, will the battery on this one catch fire? Oh. Oh, ouch. I'm not sure that the battery on this is the same as the one in the 787. So hopefully <laughs> that it will, hopefully it will not I catch fire. I think it's probably different. It is Android powered uh, and it is designed for high security applications. So you and I aren't going to go around replacing our phones with the black phone. They, can't, they won't even let you buy it. Doesn't right. Do but what you what's cool about this phone is if you try and crack open the case to get to the stuff inside, it deletes everything yeah, automatically. Yeah, that is pretty cool. When it's tampered with, it deletes everything. Yeah, it's uh, got a 4.3 inch screen, 960 by 540 resolution. It's twice as thick as a Samsung Galaxy S5. And it only has a 1600 milliamp hour battery. Yeah, that's not gonna last you very long. Here's the thing, if I was Boeing and I was building a super secret phone called the Black, I would release photos of it and they would look just like these photos of it However, in reality, my phone would be green and it wouldn't look anything like that. That way people wouldn't I'm throw it's want deception. It. I'm I'm t I'm waving something green, shiny John? over here because it's the color of money. And that's what Boeing does. They print money. And on to the I next I thought they printed planes, but okay. On to the next story. This is actually really cool. Speaking of printing money, yeah, Mastercard. Mastercard. Uh, they joined forces with Cineverse, and uh, you know how you know you have all sorts of uh, money. Money, yes. No, <laughs> they not, actually not are anymore. testing. <laughs> right. Yeah, not anymore. Now I'm broke. They're testing this theory of um, not allowing a credit card purchase to go through if your phone isn't near the credit card itself. So, if your credit card gets used and you're on the other side of the world, it won't even go through. It'll decline. This is interesting. This I is love very this concept. But here's the thing you have to have a credit card with like a battery in it, and then it has to be like connected to your phone with Bluetooth low energy or something. Right. It, well, it's got uh, GPS. Yeah, but I mean, the phone itself, yeah, I mean, it the, the to, card it itself, connect. how does the card connect to the phone? Well, I mean, there has to be power involved what for that yes, to occur, it does. I think. With your monthly Dropbox $5 debit that happens. Oh, well, now there's, that, there there's a be... difference between recurring billing things and swipes. So this is one of those where it's a second factor authentication uh, to say uh, this, is, this is not just something you have, like a credit card, right. but it's, it's something else that should always be in its presence if it's actually legitimate you know so yeah they're, yeah. they're testing it it's yeah, not for, definitely coming out into the market they're, oh yeah they're they're just playing with the idea but it is a very interesting idea i like it speaking of interesting ideas let's just imagine for a second that you cut the tip of your finger off because you know you might just be one day like hey you know what i don't like that anymore well, later you might make a decision. You might say, oh, I kind of regret, regret that I did that now. Yeah. I don't know. So you may <laughs> want to rethink this whole cutting the end of your finger thing off. But if you did <laughs> cut the end of your finger off, you might then one day be like, I wish I had another finger. Well, that was, Christian that Call, was really long, John. That kind of, he kind of did that. He cut the end of his finger <laughs> off and he then said, hey, I wish I had, I had one, but guess what? I lost my job and I don't have any damn insurance. So Because I'm, apparently Obamacare is not yet kicked in on this guy. So not. he went to go try and get a, uh, a fingertip. He couldn't get one. Have you instead, had too much verb? Instead, what? Leave my verb alone. <laughs> don't touch my verb. Okay. Instead, you know what he did? He bought himself a, a, 3D printer. He did for a thousand dollars, under a thousand dollars. And because he has mad 3D skills, 
He designed his own finger. You know what that is right there? That is a finger. That is a fingertip. That is not an ordinary fingertip, so, my no, friend. It's not. John, you're that saying, is a magnet in that finger. It is. You're saying that this guy gave himself a finger. I, he gave himself the finger, and his finger has a magnet in it. That's better than your finger. Do you have a magnet in your finger? I do not, John. Then guess what? That is better than Cut my finger. Cut your fingertips off, um, get yourself a 3D <laughs> fi fingertip printer, and be done with it. Uh, you know, all right. that's all well, I have to say. Yesterday, you guys, we're going to come back from commercial break. You make sure you leave us a fame spot at geeky.tv slash fame spot. What's the question? Who do you want to see on a stamp? I was going to say, yesterday, Philip told Here me. Here at Netflix. Philip told me that his, his stepbrother, the guy that, that made the weather satellite yep. that launched yesterday, that he actually had a magnet surgically implanted in his finger. Oh, sweet. So that he could detect a uh, magnetic field. So it's like attached to his nerves and stuff, and he can run his hand over something and find where the magnetic field is. That's insane. That's awesome. Yeah. John Rush said, I need to do some 3D printing tutorials. I do. Hmm. Damn it. I think we'll do that. You I think we'll. Hey, wait a minute. M7MD videos. Hello from Saudi Arabia. Nice. Hello, my friend. Welcome. Is it hot as hell where you are right now? How's the temperature over there in Saudi Arabia? Thanks for joining us. Uh oh, that guy JD said Fuzzies oh, no. gave him food poisoning. That's not good. That's not good. Fuzzies Sorry. didn't give me food poisoning. They gave me delicious food today. I'll tell you what, my nachos were unbelievable. Those were, were they good not? nachos. You accidentally <laughs> ordered nachos. You thought you were ordering chips and queso. I don't know how you ask for mm, chips and queso and out comes nachos, but whatever. That's kind of like how I say terabytes and out comes gigabytes. That is true. And then everybody in the freaking dog got to <laughs> tell me how long I was. It was a 10 minute long video. I, I read from a, I, I want you to think about this people. I read for 10 minutes straight from a teleprompter. I made it is the same thing. And I did it in one take. Really? 10 minutes, one take from a teleprompter. I messed up one word. One word. And you heard And about I got it. crucified that for it. That is what happens when you're on camera and release videos to an, an international audience. I got crucified for it. Yes, it is. And then you, she went in the video and even made a joke about me <laughs> in the annotations. You, so if you annotation? watch the if you watch the YouTube video <laughs> where the point where I say gigabytes instead of terabytes, she made a joke. Really, John P. <laughs> Gigabytes. Uh, hey, Monty, we actually already, already do have a 3D printer, and we've actually been thinking about getting another one that makes this one look like a 3D printer toy. Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> if anybody out there works for a company that makes 3D printers or milling machines, if you if your company makes 3D printers or if your company makes CNC milling machines. Talk to whoever you have to talk to and get one sent to us because we will do tutorials and we will feature that shizzle. And we will teach people how to use your machine for free. You don't even have to pay us to do it. Pet Rock Media, that was uh, yesterday's episode uh, that we were talking about. Uh, hello Rob. from Ice. Wait. Oh, yeah. No, that's Rob. Rob, Keeps you're not in Iceland. Me. Uh, but M7MD says it's very hot over in Saudi Arabia. You may be dead over there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, the yeah, thing I'm is, sure we would. remember, we're from Texas, so we're hot like you. Joseph's from Venezuela? Yeah. Oh, wow, nice. Hola, my friend. We're doing check in without doing check in. Oh, Naz Schiff, it's 6 a.m. in Malaysia. Malaysia. You know what? Wow. Let's, you uh, guys are amazing. <laughs> oh, oops. Jindy said I didn't remember John swearing this much before. I need to rethink having this on me. Sorry, Jindy. Are you swearing? I'll keep my ma I will watch my filter. My filter was, it was letting... broken at the moment. Okay, here we're gonna we're gonna do a check in. Okay, <laughs> should we? We'll do a check in. Not yet, not yet, people. But in a minute. Yep. In a minute, you tell us where in the world are you watching from, and when you do. Callie and I are going to try and read it as fast as we can. We're going to try and get everyone. It never seems to work anymore. I know. But it's, it's, you it's, always it can, slow it down. Oh, that is not true. You do. You slow it down. Fine. Potty mouth. <laughs> you, are you think you can handle this? You do some, and then I do some. All right. And you do some, and you got to do them fast. 
I, I can. Cali fast. Okay. Don't slow it down. Fine. Go, guys. Where are you watching from? We're ready. Richard said it's 10 p.m. in the UK, by the way. Nice. Hey, Steve was in Iceland. Nice. Here we go. John has a filter? St. <laughs> George, Utah. Lancashire. Guernsey, Channel Islands, UK, Liverpool, New York, Reds, Birdsburg, <laughs> Michigan, Ballsburg, Ballsburg and Dublin, Ballsburg Ireland. Ballsburg and Dublin, Ireland. <laughs> Ursa, Punky, Fiddlin, Molly, PA, Tarnowski, Gory, Poland, Paducah, Kentucky, Somerville, New Jersey, Fireland, Dubuque. Brazil, San Antonio, Texas, Irving, Texas, Portland, Oregon, Israel. New Jersey, Tallahassee, Devon, UK, Robotlandia, San Antonio, Homeland... Oh, shoot. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> Sao, Paulo. Sao Paulo, Brazil. Kansas City, uh, Finland yeah, again, uh, Sweden, Sweden, Athens, Athens Georgia, Georgia, Gothenburg, Sweden. Hong Kong. Brisbane, Australia. Oak Island, North Carolina, East Island, Oak Peru. Island, Utah. Pluto, <laughs> Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the UK, Baltimore, Maryland. Imatra, Finland, Wichita, Spain. Falls, Texas, Malaysia, Far, Far North, North, Texas, La Mesa, California, Hoor, Sweden. Athens, Greece. Fantasia, California. New Zealand. Fallburg, California. Frisco, baby. The darkened pits of hell. Kent, Ohio. Selbach, Frederickstad, Norway. Gap, France. He's epic. Mars. Oregon, uh, Nebraska, Italy, Suffers Paradise, Australia, Hell, Algeria, Michigan, Michigan oh. Piscataway, New Jersey, Aiken, South Carolina, Surfers Paradise, Australia, Oregon, USA. Uh, Hopedale, Massachusetts. Uh, Linkoping, Sweden. Cairo, Georgia. Bulgaria. Silkberg, Denmark. Monterey, Mexico. Maple, Maple Bacon, Bacon Morning, Morning, Texas. Texas. <laughs> Sacramento, California. Uh, Geek Geek Beats, Beats, New, new building. building. Oh, uh, Aiken, South Carolina. Maddox, Cal California. Uh, Lehigh Acres, Florida. Nice. Mississauga, Ontario, Cam Canada. Bulgaria. The Milky Way. Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Pluto in Texas. Disneyland. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, Breve, France. Nice. Mansfield, Ohio. Algeria. Wow. You guys are insane. Ooh. Did you see Maddox, California? I did. I okay, said that sorry. One. That's all right. Wow. Whew. You guys are awesome. Thank you for staying up later, getting I up earlier, whatever. I feel us. dizzy from trying to br read all that they go so, so fast. fast. <laughs> Brownsville, Texas. Nice. Daniel said, what's going on? I just got here. Everybody's telling us where you're watching from, Daniel. Where are you watching from? Lech, it's Germany. Important. Denmark. Mickey said, my Denmark. family's from Randers. Georgia. Raleigh, North Carolina. I feel for them choking on those Swedish names. Yes. NWT Canada. Naples, Italy. Nice. Your Hello, kinfolk. fellow Italian. Belgium. <laughs> Wow. Oh my God, the waffles in, Bel in Belgium I've never are, had them. Well, they're Belgian waffles. I've, I, I hear that they're better than Belgian waffles that we have here in the America. They are way better. They place. are unbelievable. In fact, Belgian in Belgium in general is just awesome. Hearst, Texas, Telena. Hey. Drink some Verve. Okay, I will. Huh. Extreme check on you. Mm. By the way, uh, we found out that we have a viewer right next door to our new building. Yeah, oh, he's a that's friend right. of the show, right beside us, which is awesome. Can't wait to meet show. him. He, he, he was watching the episode 800, and, and he was like, "Yeah, you're not talking into the microphone." Oh, sorry. He that's why I'm not answering sorry. you. Yeah, half we the don't time answer you if you don't talk into the microphone because they, they told us they can't hear you. Ah, oh, how's that? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now was, they don't want to hear you. Wasn't right. he, wasn't he? He was watching episode 800, and he he saw the he parking lot out. and the building, and he was like, "Wait a sec!" Like looking out the window and crap. Are they out there? It's yeah. literally. By the way, did you notice? It's literally next door. Yeah. What do you mean? Like we're one three seven zero two, and he's like one three seven one two. Oh. It's literally oh. next door. Yes, like that building. So can you imagine? I mean, you guys just think about this. Let's that's, that's what neighbors are, John. They're I, like next <laughs> door. That could have been across the street, down the street. Did you think he was in no, Deep Ellum or something? No, he that building. I'm just saying. He's not in Waco. What I want you to imagine is, let's say you're watching, you know, a show. It could be any show. I don't care what show, but you're watching a show. And then CSI all of a sudden, Frisco. Whatever. All of a sudden, the people on the, on the TV are like, yeah, guess what? We're moving to this address. And they show a picture, and you're like, that's my ne next door neighbor building. That would be weird. <laughs> yeah. That would sure. be weird. He's been watching for years, so mm -hmm. we'll go meet him soon. Mark Bradley is in Croatia. 
Nice. On purpose? Yes. Um, do we need to cut any stories? Oh, wait. Five minutes, at least. We Guest 352 is minutes? from Kim, Kimenau, Germany. We have well, to cut three whole stories? Well, we can do the next three. We can cut the, the next three and just move right on into robots. Or, oh, wait, hacks and cheats. Do you want to get rid of hacks and cheats or the fun stuff? Do you want to talk about boring stuff or fun stuff, John? <laughs> yeah, let's get rid of robots. Nothing is boring the way we cover it, okay? <laughs> So but I think I think we can robots, lose the robot right? section yeah. for no, today. No, we're not so. <laughs> losing robots. Goodbye, robots. Uh, no okay, disassemble. well, I guess if we have to get rid of three, then we'll skip right to uh, number 12. We'll skip the number 12. And Ben, can you put stories 9, 10, 11? Let's just move Because them. those can hold over. Let's move them to well, next. Well, Netflix can't. Yeah, let's start off with Netflix. And go no, no, we're skipping through those. Yeah, we can move it. 9, 10, 11, we move to the next show. And Everybody's gonna, seen it already. And we're going to start with number 12. Okay, we might kill 9 all together, move 10 and 11 to the next one. And we're going we're gonna to move right on to number 12. Because we have been long-winded. Chris is way on my side. No, wait, robots stay, all caps. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. <laughs> uh, that guy, JD, th congrats on the purchase of the new building. Thank you. Thank you so much. That guy? Oh, that guy. That guy. That guy, JD. Not the other one. All right. You ready? Here we go. Can we be productive? No, we can't, but let's okay. do it anyway. We'll do the show anyway. Mm-hmm. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Geek Beat Live. Your, t your shirt says it's the periodic table of texting. Indeed, it does. Hmm. Did you, did you, yeah, you can choose your, um, THX for thanks, and you've got yeah. OMG somewhere on there. All sorts huh. of good ones. Yeah. Wonder what my shirt looks says. like. A really cool Tetris what game. Does say? Huh. Oh, what, what does your say? Oh God! Oh, MIT go rules. Go change, John. Uh -huh. MIT all the way, dude. Oh, all right, so. it is time for hacks and cheats because that's what comes out of Harvard. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> 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 joking, joking, joking. <laughs> They're going to hack you. They're going to hack and cheat I know, you. seriously, right? I love you all from Harvard. I'm joking. <laughs> all right. All right, here's the big news of the week. Big news of the week was that uh, there's a bunch of SSL holes in uh, Those SSL iOS. Holes. <laughs> S there's a bunch of SSL holes in uh, iOS and Mac. So what happened? This is important, folks. Some people are some people think that uh, uh, you know this isn't important, and they're wrong. Okay, here's what happened. If you have an iOS device, that means an iPhone or an iPad or anything like that, or if you have a Mac computer running Windows, I mean OS 10. <laughs> a Mac computer 9, running Windows. A Mac Windows? computer running Windows, then you're amazing. <laughs> if you have a Mac computer running Windows, you're amazing. If you have one running OS X 10.9, there is a flaw in the way that SSL connections, secure connections like in your web browser and your mail services and things like that, there's a flaw in the way they're handled that compromises your security. We'll just leave it at that. It compromises your security. Now, Apple has come out with patches for both of these operating systems, both the mobile and the desktop operating systems. But you, my friends, need to take action. You need to go in and run an update on your operating system and patch it so that you don't have this vulnerability. Okay? Yep. That's it. That's the All bottom right. line. Do it. But something you can't patch yet because we're not sure how it's working. There's a new virus that travels via Wi-Fi. It literally kind of like hops around like a uh, like an airborne uh, spread virus. virus. Like a so real virus. It's called Chameleon. It was found by the University of Liverpool School, and um, I think they invented it. It's very interesting. I'm just kidding. So. Um, basically it travels between the Wi-Fi access points and they're having a hard time. It's really smart. It kind of finds the security holes and jumps in there and they're having a hard time figuring out how to uh, lock it down. This is the first time. Usually in the past what has happened w was uh, in order for viruses to spread, you'd like stick a USB in, in somebody's infected machine right. and then stick it in yours. Bingo, you got it. Don't go sticking your dongles in places they don't belong, people. Anywho... 
uh, or you'd have a network connection, like an Ethernet connection. But in this case, what's happening is the, the virus looks for open access points or access points that have a right. vulnerability. It exploits them. Then once it gets into an access point, Imagine you're in New York City and there's a bunch of, there's high density of apartments right. and everybody's got a Wi-Fi access point. And then what happens is you got one of these uh, that's infected, but it sees a bunch of other ones. It looks and goes, oh, I can infect that one. And it causes a chain reaction throughout like all of New York City and everybody's got one. So you know what that means, people. You need to move out from New York City. Burn your Wi-Fi access point and go back to the Stone Ages. We don't need this internet thing. It's a fad. Just have a fire extinguisher nearby. John, John, is <laughs> this is this in addition to that one we talked about a couple of weeks ago that is like turning routers and stuff into Yes, this has bots? nothing to do with that. Yeah, a few weeks ago, by the way, for oh, those yeah, of yeah, you, this is completely if separate. you have a Linksys branded modem slash you know router you need to go and download the firmware update and patch those. Yeah. Okay, because a lot of Linksys routers- A lot of routers, patching going on. Yeah, a lot of Linksys routers have uh, a, a vulnerability. Go fix those. But this has nothing to do with that, and I don't even know what the fix is yet. And Paul so Dixon I, wants to know if you, he burns his router, if we can watch Geek Beat on VHS, John. Sure, why not? We're gonna put it out on beta. It's coming right. out on beta. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now because we were, we were running so long, we had a short segment. We're still going to take a commercial break because we're catching up. Then we come back and we've got uh, robot Robots. time. And we're back. You just invented uh, a new Patreon package. Yeah, <laughs> beat, beat on beat VHS. On VHS. <laughs> With the VHS oh, player included. <laughs> that would be hilarious. That would be cool. Actually send episodes out and episode out. Right. On, I want to uh, send it on funny. beta. On beta. On Betamax. I wonder if we could even get enough Betamax empty Betamax tapes to, to send them out. Probably from that new office building. Yeah. Yeah, our new <laughs> office building. That's true. <laughs> they, they probably have them lying around, don't they? Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, We're getting all new up desks for the office building. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Okay, let's come back from commercial break. Will there be a workshop, Robert wants to know? I think there will be a workshop because we haven't done one in a while and we will finally have enough room to do one. Yes. But, of course, we need to get in the building before we do a workshop. That's, that's a very good idea. That okay. would be good. Now let's come back. All right, now we'll come back. Yeah, Creepy is super excited about the up desks. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, lots of places to pee. Yep. Hey folks, welcome back to Geek Beat Live. Hand me a verb, John. I just yawned. She just had a yawn, and there is your camera. All right. So, uh, so no more. No, I'm yawning. gently tumbling it. That's what you're supposed to do. To shake up the vitamins. Yes, because, exactly. Oh, somebody's it, tweeting at that, me because they just want to mess with me while we're live on the air. Because you know that if you tweet at me, I see it right here instantaneously. And <laughs> right. it is now time for robots. for robots. Maybe you won't yawn during robot time. Probably not. So, what do you got for me? Do you like beer? I know you don't. Do I you like beer? Don't really like beer. Well, apparently, if you get like a kegerator, is that what they're called? Oh yeah, now those are cool because it's like a keg refrigerator. It's a kegerator. Yeah. Yeah. It, well, apparently there's they're awesome. People love them, but there's one main problem with them. Mm -hmm. You don't know when they're it's about to run out. No, oh, you, okay. you're like filling up your beers, right? And then all of a sudden it's bam, gone, and you don't know that it's coming. And then dire need, like your those are the fire, stores are Those closed, are fighting words. And you can't go get beer. Yeah. So. Pledges, pledges get slaughtered when that occurs. Right. So a new Kickstarter project came out uh, with a an Android-based control system. Does it tweet you at you when it's running out of beer? Even better. No, it doesn't just tweet at you. It, it has a full-on management system. A beer management system? A ma yes, exactly. A BMS? <laughs> A beer management system? So you, you, you attach it to the kegerator, right? And you then have this app on the Android device that lets you assign users so you know exactly who's drinking how much beer in a roommate situation. 
you can divvy it up, you know, the cost up of the uh -huh. beer as such. Um, you can even, it'll take pictures, so it'll recognize which user it is. It can be attached it via NFC. Hey, if, if somebody doesn't pay their fair share for the beer, it's does it have, yeah, does it have security based on facial maybe, authentication? Maybe that's coming later. Because um, if it did, it I have a way around it. I would take a picture of someone who I knew paid for their beer, then I'd go print it out and make a mask and right. stand in front of it with their <laughs> face on it. Nice. Um, but then it'll let you know when you're running out so that you can refill as necessary. Okay. So you just connect it. Uh, right now it has to connect to, to um, it has to kind of work you have to install it really. They're working on like a Wi Fi, Bluetooth version. So, right now, full kits start at $150. If so you have a kegerator, I think that might be worth it. $150 gets you a BMS. Often. Yes, exactly. Also, very interesting. Uh huh. We head to the C now. So, uh. By the way, that last one was not really a robot story, that was a gadget story. But it's okay because that won't kill us. So, I'm Well, but I'm it's okay called the kegger, keg, keg bot. Okay, it can it's be called, called the keg, keg bot, bot, but it's really a gadget story. It has But bot I'm letting it slide. Word. Okay, go ahead. Talk to Ben. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> um, so off to the sea we go. Cargo ships. Mm. Well, a lot of they they, they have a you lot fit of a manpower. Lot of beer in a cargo ship. Yes, you can. They have a lot of manpower, and they use um, you know a lot of uh, energy and and uh, they pollute a lot and all of this stuff. So nasty, those dirty sailors. They are, right. they are now thinking they can create cargo ships that are completely unmanned. Um, take all the the co the pilots. What are they called on ships? Captains. Captains. <laughs> Take the captains, bring them back home, let them be with their families, and control it from a control board on land. Um, Eddie, you know, given Eddie all. Pirates. Huh? How do you fight pirates? You ram them. You, <laughs> there you there are get... some potential issues with this idea, uh -huh. but they're like drones, right? I mean, you, you can un have an unmanned drone, now you can have an unmanned cargo ship, which is 5% lighter, it uses 12 to 15% less fuel, and. And um, drunken captains don't run them aground? Exactly. How about and that? you can actually get them nearer to danger zones because you don't have people to worry about, right? Except yep. the cost of the freaking cargo ship. But um, and one day, this would be very interesting. When, one day, when the robot armies want to take over, they'll have their robotic cargo transport ships that they can fill up with other robots, take them over and just crush us all just like in the Matrix. Right. It'll be fantastic. And, and yes, uh, the Brad, uh, boat pilots, that's what I was trying to call them. There you go, right. boat pilots. Yeah, we don't know, you know, they could be hacked, they could, uh, <sighs> there could be some potential issues there, I but they're just, working on it. I would just hack right into it and say, oh, okay, bring that right over here to my backyard with all the gadgets in it. Backyard? Yeah, you know, because I have drive a boat to your backyard. I own Florida, okay, so my backyard. I we just bring. I'm the, sorry, I forgot. There. Anyway, it's now planes, trains, and automobiles time, which is also normally boat time. And she just stole a boat story from me, but that's okay. They, because what, we don't know. It, there's talk to a the hand. Boat, it's plane, trains, and automobiles. It has nothing to do with boats. It usually includes boats, and you know it. But that's okay. <laughs> because we have other cool stories today. First of which is Volvo. Yes, I said it, Volvo is coming out with something cool. Oh, it's, ouch. This, this is not your daddy's wow. Volvo, the little square boxy thing that's all safety oriented. Look at this. This is Volvo's new touch screen. Wow, look, look at that. It's sexy. It's yes. smooth. You caress it with your fingertips. I would stop that right now, John. If you want it to be hot, hotter, you touch a little button and move your finger up and down the slider. I'm getting a little scared here. I think I might. Uh, let's move on. Yeah. About. It's like having an. It's like having a full size. Look at that. You can pinch to zoom. <laughs> and it's built into a car. It's built into a Volvo. Did you like the timing on that? That was I nice. said Volvo right as the thing. Yeah, went, that, that was good. Anyway, this isn't like some <laughs> fantasy thing, people. Oh, it's this, out. This is coming out. Next in the next generation XC90. So if you want to have the slickest fingertip control system in any vehicle on the planet, get you a Volvo. Who knew? Anywho, <laughs> You're moving harsh on. Harsh on Volvo. Wow. I like Volvo, but Volvo usually doesn't do anything that like Sexy. really, yeah, really impresses me. Unlike Hennessy, 
who builds the Venom GT. That sounds one nice. One of the sexiest cars on <laughs> earth. Did you know, Dave, that if and you have a Venom uh, GT, that you get as a gift with purchase the entire Geek Beat bikini team? That's cool. Wait, yeah. yeah, you get it. Yeah. The whole bikini team. Yeah, that's the price of admission. That's great. That is. We so need to it, get a Venom for the how did uh, studio. Work, how did you work the Geek Beat bikini team into this? That, that came out of nowhere. Very, you got to have somebody to drape on the hood. That's right. You and just you keep saying no. Yeah, right. I don't know why. So anyway, the Hennessy Venom GT is now the world's fastest production car. It just hit the top speed, one, 270 and a half miles an hour. And they did it over on the Kennedy Space Center's 3.2 mile runway. However, I gotta admit there's one little problem with this record breaking run. What? In order to be officially recognized as the record, you have to do it both ways. You have to go one direction, turn around and come the other direction and they take the average of the two. Oh. Well, the Space Center would only let them make one run down it. Why? I don't know, because they're freaking NASA. And then yeah, they didn't get like to come back. Yeah, but it's not like they've got anything going up or coming yeah. down to use so, it. I don't think they're actually going to get the world record. Oh, wow. Anyway, what we are going to get is a bunch of boxes unboxed. And lots of coffee! Oh, God. We'll be coffee, right back coffee. after this. Hey, how come you didn't want that to play that video of the cake thing? Huh? The video of the cake box. Oh, I thought you were going to run it in, like, the background. No, it didn't say no audio. Oh. So I thought he was going to be, like, explaining it. Wow. Oh. I screwed that one up. That's okay. Mm. Did we have any pictures of it? No. <laughs> oh well. Video to show it. <laughs> hey, Gregory. I guess said, I should take a look at assets. This is cool. It literally is a neat concept, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Two things. First of all, Gregory pointed out running out of beer is a serious issue. No joking around, people. Right. Secondly, Gregory said unmanned large naval vessels aren't necessarily a new thing. The U.S. Navy has an unmanned destroyer that they use for testing new experimental weapons and other shipboard systems. I didn't know that, did you? I did not know that. Huh. But that is pretty cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ben. <laughs> I guess I got high pitched That there. is pretty cool. Yes, you <laughs> did coffee. indeed break some glass. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get up out of my chair and stop being lazy now. Now, Nick, this is when you're on, dude, like crazy. <laughs> I'm going to actually, believe it or not, move the verbs. What? You can't move the By the way, verb. by the way, yes? have you guys ordered your verb yet? I get, ah, he doesn't have the lower third if on you. you <laughs> if you have not gone to vervgeek.com and ordered your verb, you need to get your geek on. You're an imbecile. You need to go and order. I got my now geek you're on. Gonna, here's the thing, okay? You're going to go to vervgeek.com. You're going to see parte right that here. That is really good. Parte. That's good stuff, guys. It's parte. It's it's tasty. It's I'm not saying it's not tasty. Did you hear me say it wasn't tasty? It's no, tasty. It is tasty. It's fruity with a mild hint of after, I don't know. It's good. Aftershock. It's good. And if you actually, okay, I'll give you this. Sometimes you're not feeling particularly wild and crazy. You want something relaxing and smooth and sweet. Parte is great. Parte is good for that. You However, both of them are good, but the I like 90, my party. For the other 98% of the time, you have to go bold. <laughs> Big, black, and bold. Turn it around, John. That's what they used to call me in college. Big, black, bold. <laughs> Bam! Where is Mark Bolden? Mark Bolden is not here today, yeah, damn it. Yeah, where is he? Yeah, hey, watch your Bolden. mouth. I'm sorry. So, you I need to you go to vervgeek.com right now and order a case of this. Don't let me down. It's not like I get paid. I'm not getting paid for that. Uh, you, you can order as much as that you want. It doesn't make me a penny. I'm telling you right now, this stuff has every vitamin known to man. It also has 120 milligrams of caffeine. It's like yeah. drinking a cup of coffee or something. Right. And all these vitamins. Yeah. And it's tasty. Yeah. That's all I have to say about that. All right. Okay. And I'm even moving my fuzzy's uh, glass. I'm checking my email. What, why are you checking your email? I was waiting for something important that didn't come. Oh. Oh, well. Well, the day is QVC not over QVC will be calling you John B. soon. What? QVC will be coming soon. Oh, Calling really? soon. 
Okay. <laughs> Are we ready? I would like to apologize one more time to Jendi, and I would like to, Jendi, I just make sure your kids are listening up. Listen, kids, don't ever, ever repeat anything Uncle John says. Whatever Uncle John says, it's totally inappropriate at all times. You should know that right now. Just like, I, just like I've told my kids, just because John P. says it doesn't mean you have to. Anybody just because John P. says John it P. doesn't mean anybody should say it. Who has kids has to explain this to their kids. Yes, this Even is the his, own, his own nieces my, my are nieces, told not to knows. repeat anything that, John, uh, that Uncle don't. John says. Yeah. <laughs> do Kate's not. first word was very, very bad, and she said it in the middle of school. Do not do or say anything John does. Don't do or say, either one, right. anything John does, okay? Because he is inappropriate. <laughs> now, as long as we are, have an understanding, then you can stay and watch the show, okay? But don't ever use an excuse. Well, John said it. Nope, that's not a valid excuse. Unless it involves, like, purchasing something that we reviewed and thinks is wonderful. No. If I say, you should do this, like you should buy this thing because it's awesome, that's a valid excuse. Because I play with a lot of toys, and I generally know what's a good toy and what's not a good toy. But anything out of that, just don't, don't. Yeah. Don't want to know about that. JD, yes, uh, it is like Christmas around here every Friday. All right, let's do this. Alrighty. We're coming back. Welcome back to Geek Me Live. It is unboxing time, and I'm excited. I have a question for you. What's that? Is robot time really your favorite time of each show? <laughs> um, because unboxing time is really my favorite. Yeah, I really enjoy the unboxings. How can you not? It's like Christmas. You get these things showing up all week, and then we get to open them and play with them. Well, okay. You want small, medium, or large at the moment? I want that big box right there. Okay, she can't even wait. Okay, I don't. No discipline whatsoever. Well, maybe we should wait. No. Okay. I don't want to keep hearing about it because as soon as this, let me tell you guys a story. Okay. <laughs> the other day, we were sitting in our office. You know, we share an office. We we're sitting in the office, and I hear this screech. Ah! What the? I turned around. I was like, "What is going on?" <laughs> our FedEx <laughs> guy. Our favorite, our favorite FedEx guy came in. I was attaching myself to him at the moment. She went screaming over there because look what it says. Coffee Bean Direct. Coffee Roasters. And the, your friends over at Coffee Bean Direct told you they were going to send you a big old package. Yes, I knew this was coming. So the moment I saw the box, I was screaming and giddy. And it came very, from very, very Coffee excited. Bean Direct. And I guess they also make Tattle Tea. Yes. It's like one and the same. They do tea yeah, and coffee. Yeah, they do coffee. tea and coffee. And not only do they do like coffee and tea, they do crazy flavors. Well, let's they have see. Regular, but they what all do they send? Smell oh, wow. Smell it, John. Smell it. It, it is smells amazing. like coffee in here. All okay. Right. All right. What do we got here? We got City Roast Papua New Guinea. Coffee what? Bean Direct. Okay. And all it right. says, look what it says on the back. Bean by bean and cup by cup, we promise to bring you the freshest and most delicious coffee your cup has ever had. Nice. That's a fact. That is. That's a fact. All right, so we have Italian roast espresso. Okay. Eyes wide open. I okay. guess that's like uber caffeinated. Okay. Shamrock cream. Oh, good. I thought you were going to say sham wow coffee. Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street. How much coffee did they send you? <laughs> Iced coffee blend. Chocolate stout. And then here come the teas. Wow. Um, this Wait is a Yunnan Black Needle. What? Wait a minute. We've got uh, Mango Mimosa White Tea, Emerald Wait, Oolong push Tea. Pause for two seconds. Okay. Okay. Hello, America. You may now resume the show. Keep going. And in here we have all wait other a minute, kinds wait of a minute. tea. There's a bunch of shotgun shells here. Yeah. What is the deal with these things? Well, so these are this like little. This says Tattle Tea 
Love struck Rubios. <laughs> Love struck. These aren't roofies, are they? <laughs> no. Love struck Rubios. You got the Queen's chai, French toast chai, blueberry lemon cake, spiced chai black. Wait, that sounds delicious. Ooh, maple bacon chai black. Ooh, ooh. Wait, oh, you've got a whole box of other uh -huh. ones. Okay, we can't keep going here. Okay, so there are all kinds of uh, these. These are like little te te testers um, because people have a you know they. People you don't often want to buy like 20 pounds of something before they tea. know if they like it? Yeah, so these will like do like, I think he said seven cups or something. Okay, well, I'd say that they went maybe oh, just a little <laughs> overboard. I, I'm, I'm not one to talk, but this may have been a little excessive. But I'm <laughs> sure now out, people. Uh, there will be good times at Livid Lobster HQ. Coffee Bean Direct. That's all I'm saying. Okay, next package, medium sized package. Wait, is this the one? It's from FedEx. Is this the one that ties into my other coffee? I, I have no idea what I it is. I want. What, what else? Do yes, we... this is the one. I don't know. All right. This package, this package is from our friends at FedEx. <laughs> this? Okay. Uh oh. So we got all this coffee, right? Yes. And you're going to use, like, we have a Keurig, yes. right? And a lot of people have Keurig machines. And a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't. And when you get something like that, and you, if you have a regular coffee maker, this is a new Kickstarter project that turns your regular coffee machine into a Keurig machine. What? Uh, that's right. That's what you heard. So this little device... You just open it up. It goes into the cup, into the uh, the you know coffee part. Um, the brewery, the, the filter brewery, part, the filter, the filter part in your coffee uh, machine, and you put a cake up in here. Put, put the okay, cake up in here. Okay, put a cake up in there, like that. Yeah. And oh, and that's gonna it. puncture it's that. It's gonna puncture that. I'm not gonna do it right now. Okay, it take that. And then you push it down. And this actually adjusts the amount of brew. So you can get a lighter or a darker brew based on what's in here. How much does it cost? Um, they are like $24 on Kickstarter. Wow. Which is cheap, I think. That's pretty so, cool, actually. I gotta admit, I gotta give it up. That is ingenious. I think this is brilliant. I was walking through the, um... Seriously, that's ingenious, okay? Really Whoever is. thought of that, that was like... Uh, that, well, what's so awesome is... Here's what I think is awesome. Not that someone thought of that. People <laughs> think of things all the right. time. They actually thought, oh, wouldn't it be cool if we could do that? And then they did it. I know. That so, was cool. So, I, you know, I was walking through the store and um, I hear a guy just pull his wife over to, to this Keurig display. He was like, as soon as we can afford this, we're buying one of these. Well, you don't need to you now because for 25 bucks or whatever it is, you can get your yeah. own. Go to Kickstarter right. link uh, down here. Here's a, here's a small package. Okay. What do we have here? Oh, these are the backbone. This? Oh. Yes. Now, what this is, this is a device designed to help you hang on to your tablets and things, okay? So, actually, there's, I don't know if you can see on the picture here, but what they've done is they've attached it to the back of a tablet. And I don't, where, where Do did my tablet, tablet go? I, I don't know what I did with my tablet. But here's the way the device works. First of all, this has got so a, it's it? like rubberized. Yeah. Okay. It feels kind of rubberized. But you'd stick your finger through there, and then this, I guess, wow, that is a powerful magnet. Good God. <laughs> and my, my knife is nice. even, I, I can't quite get. Don't cut yourself, I'm John. trying to just get. The, <laughs> okay, that's a, this is the way this would work. Uh, I think you would stick that metal plate on the back of your, or you'd stick something on, I don't know. Let's see, here's a. Okay, it doesn't natively stick. You have to peel off this 3M sticky pa paper and stick. Oh, there you go. So you'd stick this that thing on the back of here. And then whenever you want to hang on to it, you, stick, you do you that. Just connect it and it connects. Yeah. <laughs> and now we're all screwed Oops. up. <laughs> so uh, that is how that would work. Wow. Woo. So those are pretty cool. The backbone. Yeah. How much are these? I can't remember, but you can go to thebackbone.com, the B A K B O N E.com, and you guys tell us how much these things are. It's a tablet ring. Pretty cool. Right, pretty cool. Pretty yeah. cool. Okay, what else do we have? Here's what else? another here's another package. Okay. Ah. Now these cables. And they are worth being excited over cuz I love cables. Ken loves cables. 
But these are very interesting because I bet you've never seen this before. Look what it says right here. Yeah, I just want to point it out that I did pull up the magnet with my bare hands. Oh, and you brother, could not. here we go. Thank you, Ben, for pointing that out. This is a high-speed locking HDMI cable. Did you hear what I said? High-speed locking HDMI That's right. cable. That's right. So these cables are designed. Have you ever taken like Look a... Look at that. That's you awesome. You take like your Roku or Apple TV or a DVD player, you hook it up to your TV, and then you like jiggle it around and the dang thing comes out. And you're like, ah, I don't need a cable that comes out so easily is because... Is that the sound you make, John? Yeah, yeah. I go, ah, <laughs> ah, because... You are going to, uh, you know, cool. leave it there permanently. So when you plug these things in, and, I, and we're, we're going to try them out, we're going to give them a test. But when you plug these in, I think they've got these little things on the bottom. Yeah, you can see like the little T. Yeah, they kind of lock in there, okay? It's so, subtle too. Yeah. So I guess if you just give it enough force, it pulls well, yeah, out. Yeah, what happens is it will make it so that it's got maybe, I don't know, let's say, it, let's say 10 or 15 pounds of pulling Force. Oh, okay. So if you had like an Apple TV and you lock this yeah. in there, you can hold it like this easy because the thing okay. weighs like a pound. You can hold, you can swing it around; it won't come off. But if you give it a little bit of force, it right. comes out. Okay. Cool. And so um, that's a new kind of cable from Accel, A C C E L L. So we're going to be uh, we're going to give those test. Yeah, if we had I all of cool. those in the uh, new building, that that would be. All right, fantastic. we got two more packages. Okay. I have no idea what's in this one. Uh, oh, I know what's Ooh. in the next one, though. You know, I see Japanese lettering. Oh, it's Let's Japanese see. newspaper. <laughs> what do we have coming from, look, American Tours in 2014? What do we got? Open. Knife. Oh, uh, Chiro. Oh, it's from Chiro. We, uh, we They're have the to, battery guys. Yeah, yeah. We had the, their batteries uh, a while back. The good well, batteries. But nobody knew about those well, because we those. Them. Oh, did we? I thought those were the super. Oh my God! Look at that. Oh, that is so cute. Look at that. Look at that. This is a portable battery, and it's adorable. I've never said that about a battery I've before. I've never <laughs> said that about a battery. Look at that. Now this is a. I've forgotten what his name is, but this is a yeah. little. No, this. Is, have you guys seen? There's like an internet meme where there's a little, it looks like a little uh, cardboard box guy. Have you seen that? Nick oh, said, yeah, 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 he's yeah. seen it. This is what that is. So it's, you've got two USB outlets, a one amp and a 2.1 amp, and then the charging port here, status indicator. Uh, oh. Oh, oh, this is a 10,400 milliamp battery. And here is the smaller. And then it also comes. Oh, this that's is cute. the smaller version. It's the 6,000 milliamp battery. It comes with a little bag. It comes with its own little cute, cute charging bag. Dan Board version mini. I think that's his name, Dan Board. You can do a little search. You will see they're little cardboard versions of this guy. They, they made the batteries look just like that cute little guy. And these are actually, um, I believe now, um, being sold here in the uh, States as well. Yeah, I, that's on, what I understood. On Amazon. Um, they just came out. So oh, his eyes light up. Look ben, at that. Can you, can you find that link? Look, in? Do your oh. eyes light up? Push his nose. Oh, my eyes light up. Yours do not. Oh, what? Well, what can I say? All right, we'll get you guys a link and we'll share more of that later. <laughs> we have one more box. We're already out of time. Yes, but we you are. Know what? We have one more box, so we're going to unbox All right. it. Okay, guys, guess what? Guess who this is from? Right there. Swan. Swan. Okay, what do we have here? The Swan guy stuff by here? Nah, not the, not the food guys. The security guys. Yeah. Swan, if you guys go to like fries or anything like that, you'll see Swan security systems. And I think, if I am not mistaken, this is a new one that they have just <laughs> come out with. Oh, look at that. So this, these packages come with lots of goodies. Let's see what all we got in here. We got a power cable. We have one, two, three, four. There are four cables for hooking up video cameras. Nice. Ooh, big There's sexy. Yeah. All right. So this, That wow. has got to be the controller. the controller. That's the brain. So what we are looking at is a four camera We're, security system. I'm oh, not going to take there, them all okay. out, but there's four boxes here. These have got to be the cameras. We've got Let's, a mouse in here, the controlling. 
Okay, here's That's what camera. our cameras look like. Let's take a look at this. And if I am not mistaken, and I'm never wrong. Of course you're not. These are actually like high definition cameras. Nice. And so this system is designed so that you take four of these bad boys and they will plug in right here. One, two. Oh, wait a minute. It will take up to eight. Nice. It will take up to eight of these. So you would plug in each of these cameras to these ports. It comes with four and you can expand it to eight. So we're gonna do a full on review of this and show you guys how it works. But this is for those of you who are concerned about, you know, wanting to capture some video around a home or office, right. but you don't wanna to have to have something like complex on, yeah. or some gigantic thing. You get this tiny little box, simple to hook these things up. Bingo, bango, nice. you're secure. So what is our model number on this bad boy? Um, the Swan Pro Series. I don't, let's see. So you guys can look it up for us. I don't Here see Here we go. One. Nope, that's the camera. It's a 700 <laughs> TVL day-night camera. Yeah. We will look up the model we will number find on this that. and tell you guys later. Okay. All right. Well, we thank you guys for joining us from all over the world and uh, hanging out with us each and every week. We appreciate it. Yep. And... Go check out that uh, episode 800 if you haven't seen it. Geekbeat.tv slash 800. Check the show notes, too. <laughs> They're going to be right about there. And for all of the cool new stuff coming up uh, for from the building and about the building, you just use geekbeat.tv slash new building. Everything we talk about will be right there. That's pretty cool. And on social media, twitter.com slash John Pose and google.com slash plus John P. Make sure you're following him. You don't want that. You want twitter.com forward slash Callie Lewis he's, and google.com forward slash plus Callie Lewis. He's way funnier than I am. Not true, guys. We'll see you later. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Bye, guys. We're out of here. I want to hook up this camera so I can surveil you. No, you will not. Let me see that. What is our... It, well, that's the, I, I, I mean, <laughs> we've got the CODVR, you know, we've got a big number there, but. This says seven, 700 TVL day-night camera. Jenny said $299. It may be. I don't know. I, I, yeah, John, not geekbeat.tv. Did you know? What did I, I say? Did I throw that your way, J Dave? On the episode uh, where I said to go to geekbeat.tv slash new building, you left the T off the geek beat. Oops. Geek B. It's okay. At least I didn't say gigabyte. Oh, God. <laughs> I had to go in and make more annotations on our YouTube video. <laughs> uh, yeah, time for walk. Now that the show is over. All right. Okay, how can I be missing the darn I don't know. I don't number? see it. Where did the box go on the outside? That okay, is. this is the little box. No, that, yeah, that's Swan. Mm-hmm, Swan. <laughs> I'm gonna open the packing slip. Okay. And see if the packing slip has it. All right. Now these are review unit boxes, so you may not, you know, I mean, I would imagine that when people actually buy them, they will probably get a, a nice retail packaging, which is different than what we got. This has a funky item number, if anybody wants to try. Are you ready? Oh, there you go. ARC found it. NVR8-7085 is the 8-channel 720p network video recorder for cameras. $799. That's the one. Wow, Thank nice. you. Wow, yeah. <sighs> Where are we going to hook it up? Um, In the new studio? In the new building? Well, yeah, but uh, we'll hook it up here first. Yeah. We'll hook it up here, and then we'll hook it up there, and we'll check it out. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Indeed. Paul's got the uh, there. You go. Paul's got a link oh, right to Swan.com. It's a good thing John doesn't have a magnetic <laughs> finger when he's playing with that magnet. You're right, Jendi. <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah, I can't <laughs> wait to try this cape on. She said that the kids were all amazed that we know her name and are talking to them. <laughs> Don't be. Your mother is unbelievably famous. Yes. She's also a super... Oh, we're not supposed to... Shh. Sorry. Who is that? Hmm. 
Jindy. Yeah, we weren't supposed to talk about her crime fighting activities outside. Stop of, it, uh, John. Oh, okay. Uh, BJ's Tech and Weather said, any tips on starting a business, John and Callie? Wow. That is a big question. That is a big question. <laughs> Let's see. What would you, if you had to give like two tips, what would your top two tips of starting a business from scratch be? <laughs> Get good people around you. Um, Have a good idea. Have a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> do, do it better than anyone else. No. Um, yeah, I, I mean, that, that's, it depends on where you are in the process, you know, but uh, one of the, the things that I learned in the, the process is to make sure that you have good people around you and you're always... Uh, don't try and do it alone? Don't try and do it alone, yeah. But it's, you know, that's, hard, that's a hard thing to do as well as find good people, but... If you can. I guess my number one tip would be everything needs to be pre-planned and you need a strategic reason for everything you do. And don't take any risks that you cannot afford to fail at. So in other words, and, fail fast. and I'm not saying don't take risks. I'm saying take risks that if they don't pan out, don't put you out of business. Yeah. In fact, I'll tell you a story right now that I just learned yesterday. You don't even know this. Yeah. The company whose building we are buying mm -hmm. because they went out of business had a successful business here in Texas. They're an insurance company. They were successful here in Texas. What happened was they were having so much success, they decided, hey, let's expand mm. into other states. Ah. So they expanded into New Mexico okay. and Nevada. I believe it was those two, New Mexico and Nevada. And the expansion into those areas, what happened was they, they were not as familiar with the laws in those states. And there were some legal issues ah. that came back to bite them and literally was the downfall of their company uh. because they tried to grow too quickly, okay? They, they had a successful business in one state and then they're like, oh, we're here, we're good here, let's go everywhere. And they just went too fast. They took risks because yeah. anytime you do something new, you're gonna take a risk. You take a risk. You just need to calculate it and then you need to see well, how well did, did that work mm -hmm. and make adjustments? And they went heads they, first. They did how many locations? Two more Two states. More yeah. Which in, a, in reality, I mean, Texas is much bigger than both of those states combined. So even if you think about it, it's not that they expanded hugely, right? but they expanded enough that when there was a problem, it killed their business. Right. You have to be able to have the um, uh, resources, to take a risk, and if it completely fails, you still have a business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't take the risk otherwise. And that includes, by the way, starting a business. Yeah. So anybody that tells you, if you ever hear this, if you go to a seminar and some douchebag is standing up on a stage and says to you, you know what? If you really want to be successful, you have to invest in your own future. You need to quit your job and go all in and start this other thing. Here's what I want you to do. You do this. If you ever hear that, you do this. Walk up after the, after the event's over, go shake that person's hand. And while you're shaking them, while you're shaking them their hand, kick them right in the crotch, <laughs> kick them in the crotch so hard that their face turns blue and they can't even breathe Kids are watching. and they're down on the ground and then you say that's from john p <laughs> because they are wrong okay you do not quit a paying job to risk everything on something new that's not the way it works what did i just say i said you have to be able to afford to take risks if you already have a job somewhere you don't risk that okay you slowly dabble with something else. And when you've determined, you know what? This I can be successful that can be at that. I can expand that only at that point 
would you then quit another job? Okay, that's it. That's my, that's my advice. Yeah, and Paul, Paul has boiled it down <laughs> pretty, pretty much. My advice for kicking, uh, for, uh, for, uh, for starting, starting jobs, he's boiled it down to the most important, <laughs> important <laughs> part. <laughs> Kick people in the crotch. <laughs> Falcon, Falcon Punch. What? Uh, oh. Bad Wolf, Falcon Punch. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> BJ Stegg said, I'm trying to go to computer repair. Well, that's good. That's a good oh, job. Okay. So, yeah. what you, the first thing you need to do is you need to find some customers. But my advice to you, my friend, is what you don't want are one-time transactional customers. That does you no good. You can't build a business around that because you are always trying to get new business. What you need is... I mean, you, not, you, you can take some of that, but... You can, you can have that and that can augment. But if you want to have a real sustainable long-term growth business, you need to go find small businesses that are willing to sign a contract with you for ongoing technical support, okay? So in other words, you're not gonna charge them $100 to fix their computer one time, no. But what you will do is you will charge them $500 per month to be on a retainer with them with a minimum one year contract. And that $500 per month, this is an example, in includes up to five hours per month of repair and ongoing maintenance stuff and there are a certain set of things you will routinely do for them including optimizing their hard drives and doing network threat assessments and give them a list there's a list of these 10 things and that's what you're going to do for them plus on top of that you get a certain amount of time bundled in each month and they sign a contract for you with you and you go get five or ten customers like that and you give each one of them five hours per month and then when it gets to a point where hey I've got enough money coming in from these customers that what I can do now is I can bring on somebody else to do some of the servicing and pay them you know part of the money and go get more customers now all of a sudden you're expanding now you can get five friends to work with you and you get 50 customers and you divvy up the workload. That's how you start a good, solid tech business. Or you can just do what Paul said. Kick them in the crotch? No. Oh. <laughs> just half fix their computer and they have to come back. Mm -hmm. I'm just joking. Do that Don't too. Don't do that. <laughs> Jendi said, what was the website for the caffeine drink I was showing? Get, I'm sorry, vervegeek.com. Yeah, vervegeek.com. Vervegeek.com. You get Verve bold. Or party. Or party. Seriously though, Jendi, this is actually pretty good stuff because it's 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 pretty healthy. Here's why I say that. Sugar, five grams. This whole can is only five like grams. Unheard of. It's ridiculous. It's only five grams of sugar. Um, it has uh, five hundred percent of your daily vitamin C, fifty percent of your daily vitamin A. 250% of daily vitamin D3, 200% of vitamin E, and by the way, I'm only one third of the way through this list. It's got, it's like taking a multivitamin. It's five grams of sugar, <laughs> and it's like taking a multivitamin. Now it has caffeine in it. It's got 120 milligrams, which I think is like a Coke or a coffee or something, you know? I think so, yeah. So, you know, give this to the kids. It'll make them healthy, but <laughs> also get them riled up. Nice. But hey, send them out to run around in the yard, okay? And, and, and you know, get fit. So. Okay, run. You okay? <sighs> you out of here? fire at his apartment building. So oh, out. crap, go. All right, see you, dude. Be right. safe. Thanks. Thank you so much. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's it, guys. Robert right. says, I repair commercial and residential washers and dryers. That's good. Awesome. That's awesome. And in fact, you know, that would be another bit of advice. Pick a specialty. <laughs> the Brad, I'm going to buy some Verve, and if I don't like it, I'm going to kick you in the crotch. Is that fair? I think that's fair. I mean, you know, I don't know how I could. It would be, it would be hypocritical for me to say that was not a fair move. That's pretty fair. That's pretty funny. fair. All right.
I think it's about time for us to wrap it up because yeah. at Holly Pose, it's five o'clock. At Holly Pose is waiting for me to entertain her. Okay. Well, you better, you, you better do that. You don't keep that woman waiting. No. You don't even know what would happen if you kept Holly Pose waiting because she's never been kept waiting in her life. I was I trying to find something happened. funny to say, but I got nothing. Uh, it's because you don't make <laughs> jokes about at Holly Pose. <laughs> I'm scared of that. <laughs> John, right, can well, you fix Kelly's hair? Why, why is my hair disturbing you today, DP? Yeah. <laughs> He's been complaining all the entire show. <laughs> ben says, I'm going to start wearing a <laughs> cup after this show. <laughs> you never know. Somebody might just walk up and <laughs> kick you in the crotch. You hey. just don't know. Well, By the way, guys, kids, don't do what John P. says. Right. Okay? Didn't we teach you that lesson already? Don't go get, kicking people in the crotch. Okay? <laughs> Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. You have a great weekend. Enjoy yourselves and uh, drink lots of herb. Yeah. Bye. Bye, guys.